everyone welcome back to a new video um in this video i'm going to be creating a spider set using a range of different products i haven't stuck to one brand today i've gone a little bit mad so this is a collaboration set that i'm doing with sherry she is from a youtube channel called nail product review monthly i will leave a link to her channel in the description box below so you can go and check out her set that she done um and also give her a cheeky subscribe um so the nails that i'm the nail that i'm doing now sorry is um i've got perfect white and perfect black from madame glam i'm also using their glow in the dark gel polish called black light if you want to get 30 percent off any madame glam gel polishes you can do so using code natmog 30 i better get that in before i forget because i forget lots um, the gel polish cures in 30 seconds in an LED lamp so I'm only going to apply one coat of white I only felt like I needed one coat and then I'm going to go over with two coats of this black light so this is it after the first coat but my, my room even though I've turned my light off my room was still pretty bright because I was doing these during the day obviously so at the end of the video you can see it you know in the dark um, going in the dark properly in the dark um, I'm going to show you it now this is after the second coat so it's a, it is a lot brighter after the second coat but it doesn't really show up that well because my room is light I'm going over now with Nelkami's non no Nelkami's velvet matte top coat and I'm also taking their gem glue crystal totalist gem glue because I'm going to apply I don't know why I've done it like this I'm not really sure why I've done it like this um, I'm, I'm going to put two little blobs of gem glue on because I want to put some, I've got some AB crystals here. These are from Nail Sugar, but there aren't any crystals on the website at the moment because Karen is between suppliers. She's looking for a new supplier, so I don't think there are any crystals on the website at the moment. But there will be soon, hopefully. So I'm putting an AB crystal for the body and a little smaller one for the head. And I'm going to pop this in the lamp for 60 seconds because the gem glue cures in an LED lamp for 60 seconds. So we'll just give it an extra 60 uh, an extra 30. Then I'm taking some of the perfect black gel polish from Madame Glam and I'm going to draw on the spider web and we've got to give the spider eight legs. So the spider web is coming from its bot bot. It's not, it's not got issues it's not got bowel issues today that is it's spider web i've gone to, i've gone to a, i'm doing a i'm i'm i've pretty much changed my diet to a plant-based diet with the odd exception of a tiny little bit of milk and at the moment anyway um and probably i'll probably have a little bit of egg but i won't make myself you know scrambled egg if there's egg in something you know and i'm out and it's got egg in i will eat it um just to save you know because it's you know i mean it's it's basically a vegan diet and it's basically it's given me it's given me really bad guts <laughs> i'm hoping i will kind of no one needs to know this shut up okay back to the nails um i'm drawing on the the spider's legs so obviously spiders have eight legs i'm so sorry i went off at a tangent then um if you want to, you can flash cure the legs, like you can do two at a time or something, and then flash cure them once you're happy with them. I wish I'd done the back legs a little less squared off, because it, it kind of looks very geometric. But I didn't, it didn't, I didn't mean to do it like that. I don't know, it just, it looks a bit odd. Um, but anyway, right, I've cured that for 30 seconds. Then I'm just going to go over again with a coat of Velvet Matte Top Coat. If you want to, you could just wipe off the tacky layer of the gel polish. But I'm going to go over with another coat this way. It will give the design, you know, longevity. And it will, it's just something else that is going to secure, you know, if you butt the gel polish, the top coat up to the crystals, it's just going to secure them that little bit more. Am I making sense? I hope so, but I'm probably not knowing me. Um, this nail is going to be two coats of black. I do do two coats, but I just show you me doing one because I did um and I have to just leave it at one. And I was like, no, we're going with two, but I'm only going to show you one. So we're going to do like a marble nail. But if you don't have marble in inks, you can easily do it with gel polish. So I'm taking the white and I'm just dabbing on some white gel polish. I don't want to make it too thick. If anything, I'm kind of going a little bit 
guess with it. Is that the right word? Um, and then I'm going to use acetone in this old brush. And I'm going to dab it onto the the white gel polish. And it's going to dis it's going to disperse it. I think that's the right word. You know, it's going to start to separate and spread out. And it made the snail look kind of smoky. Smoky. But I decided... Oh, yeah, and also you can put some more white on. I decided that the white was disappearing too quick, so I went in with a bit more white. And then I'm just going to repeat that process on the white that I put on. And then once I'm happy, I'm going to cure that in the lamp. Because it's you can play around with it. It's not going to do anything to it. It's not going to set or, until you put it in the lamp to cure. Does that, yeah, you know what I mean. So there we go, in the lamp, 30 seconds. And then to make it look a little bit more marbled, I have taken some of the Madame Glam Perfect White. And I'm just going to put some lines through the, like the smoke, the smoky smoke. And yeah, you can, you can, you don't have to put the lines. You can leave it as more of a smoky nail. But I like, I like marble nails. I don't know why, I just prefer a little bit of marble. And then, and then, and then once I'm happy, I'm just gonna cure it. I've been to Knock Cups this morning and I've got some Christmas decorations. Oh my gosh, I'm ruining my Christmas. Just don't touch it, Nats. Okay, I've left it. <gasps> oh, there we go. So I'm gonna cure that in the lamp now. And I did decide that I was gonna go over the top with Madame Glam's No Wipe Top Gel to make it, you know, glossy. So it's gonna have a shiny coat, but later on I do decide that it needs to be matte top coated. So I'll tell you what I do later on. But if you want it left shiny, this is what it's going to look like. It's going to look like something like that. It's going to look like something like that. <laughs> I said that really quickly. Um, this next nail I'm going in with... I'm pretty sure i only done one coat of black on this nail. You can do two, but I just didn't think it needed it. So I'm going to cure that in the lamp for 30 seconds. Then I've got some stamping plates here that Yogi sent me. Yeah, Yogi, I said that really quickly. There is four stamping plates here. And I wanted to do like a spider web on this nail. Um, I was gonna draw it, but I tried twice and I just couldn't, I just wasn't happy with it. So I was like, I know, I'm gonna use these stamping plates that they sent me because it's Halloween. <laughs> and I'm gonna use this one here. And I've got some stamping polish that they sent me. They sent me some other colours, but I am going to use the silver and the white ones today. I'll show you in a minute. I'm going to clean off my stamping plate to make sure it's doubly clean before I use it. Oh, I've used this scraper already. I did try them out already. They do come with blue films over the top when they're brand new that you need to peel off. So this is the stamper they sent me. I really like the stamper. It's got a see-through barrel so you can look where you are placing the design on the nail once you've picked it up with a stamper see this is this is the white and the silver i'm going to use but there are they do do lots of different other colors on the website so over the the design that i want to use i'm going to completely cover it with the stamping polish and then i'm going to use a scraper and i scrape over it twice you don't have to i just sometimes i do and sometimes i don't and then i'm just gonna wipe not wipe roll the stamper over the design um, you can see I've got bits of the design that I don't want to use, so I'm just using some sellotape to get those off of the jelly part of the stamper. And you can use the sellotape to clean the stamper as well. Don't try and rub over it with acetone or isopropyl alcohol. You you want to use some sellotape or a like a lint roller to, to clean the design off the stamper, off the jelly part. Otherwise, you'll just ruin it. And I would also recommend using a non-acetone nail varnish remover to clean the stamping plate because so I think someone told me once that the acid, not the acid, the acetone might ruin it. So I've always, I've always used isopropyl alcohol or non-acetone nail varnish remover. I think I've made sense. So I'm going to do like a double layer of this web so i've gone over with white so i'm going to do the same and clear up that the rest of the design that i don't want and then i'm going to layer it over the silver 
I'm going to slightly overlap so you you are going to see predominantly white but you will see some of the silver web underneath when she finally decides to stamp it what am I doing <laughs> there we go we got there in the end I'm just going to press that bit down there we are so you can see you've still got some silver in there but it doesn't look awful <laughs> I'm going over the top of that with Nail Camille's Velvet Matte Top Coat and then I'll cure for 30 seconds and then we're going to move on to the next nail which is a little bit more in depth maybe I don't know so oh yeah yeah yeah. no I've buffed over the 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 marble nail because I want it matte finish I've buffed over the top and I'm going to go over with the Velvet Matte Top Coat and look it looks so much nicer Velvet Matte Finished or Matte Top Coated whatever you want to call it Oh, and it feels so nice too. <clears throat> um, the aqua gel I'm using is from Model Ones. It's mint blue, they call it. It's the most amazing glow in the dark aqua gel I've ever seen. And these are AB Micro Crystals from Nail Sugar. Um, if you do want to get 10% off Model Ones stuff, you can do so using my code Natalie Double Zero. And if you want to get 10% off at Nail Sugar, you can use my code Natmog10. And yeah, you'll get 10% off your order. So the Aqua Gel is glow in the dark. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this. My my gel brush was dirty, so I had to spend a few minutes cleaning that up. Look at the pink in it. Oh my gosh. Um, I'm just going to use this to secure the micro crystals in. And also, I was thinking because it's glow in the dark, I was I wondered what it would look like, you know, with the crystals over the top once it was glowing in the dark. And I've got to say. I really like the look you got. I think it would look amazing in some kind of winter set. So I'm gonna have to try it in a winter set. But I really, really, I really, really like this. This aqua gel is so bright when it's luminous, when it's, you know, when it's lumin, you know, when it's bright, you know, when it's glowing in the dark. I have no idea what I'm saying. I do know it's really bright. It glows really bright, by the way. That's what I was trying to say. Okay, right over the top of the aqua gel. We're going to apply some no wipe top coat so that once we have poured the crystals on any gaps if we hadn't put this on any gaps that we might have had in the aqua gel that weren't covered in crystals you'd still have like a bit of a tacky layer so we're going to go over with the non-wipe top coat from madame glam and i'm just going to sprinkle i would suggest i would recommend putting a tray underneath or a bit of paper or you know a glitter tray to catch the crystals um i i didn't do it and I, as soon as i started pouring i was like yeah this was a mistake <laughs> so i do spend a few minutes as well trying to rescue some of the crystals that had gone all over the place because you just can't waste these because they're beautiful and what i would as well recommend just going around the free edge you know maybe the side you know the sides down the sides and the free edge with some non wipe top coat once you've cured it just so that it doesn't leave because the crystals can be quite rough and you don't want to be scratching things doesn't it look beautiful oh <gasps> i absolutely love it and you wait till the end because i'm going to show you it in the, in the in the dark dark i'm scared of the dark so you're lucky you're lucky you got this but i'm going to show you in the dark dark so this is a set finished. Um, the last nail I'd done was just two coats of Madame Glam's Perfect Black followed by Velvet Matte Top Coat from Nail Camille. Um, are you ready for this? Isn't that amazing? Even the black light gel polish has done a really good job with that spider on. Really pleased with this set. Um, if you liked it, please leave me a like. If you haven't already, do consider subscribing or a spider might land on your head while you're asleep. Ugh. Yeah, yucky yuck. Um, don't forget to check out Sherry's um, Sherry's video and give her a subscribe and happy Halloween. Oh my gosh, it's Halloween. I will see you all tomorrow. Bye.